well. I haven't seen my mom in a, quite a while. Busy with my life, I guess. It's selfish. Sometimes I, you know, she calls me, I won't pick up. Stuff like that, that's like so just childish and... Can I challenge you? Sure, yeah, man, I like challenges. <laughs> Can you call her right now and tell her that? Oh, shit. <laughs> So I think we can all agree that who we are today was in a large part influenced by our parents. So in today's episode, we're just gonna explore the greatest lessons our parents taught us, to better understand the impact they had over our lives, and maybe appreciate them a little bit more. So sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to stick around till the end, because there's a nice little moment I don't want you to miss. So growing up, I, I used to hate when they would like push us to work hard. There's an element of just like working hard that I'll never let go of. How hard to work and that n nothing is given, it always needs to be earned. You know, I grew up uh, playing <laughs> very Asian piano and violin and I feel like they really just kind of instilled this like gotta work hard, gotta practice, gotta have discipline, you know. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't easy, um, especially in the beginning, but having that transition of being on my own and realizing the worth of everything. But now, as I've kind of matured, I, I've come to see that's like the thing that separates me from other people is want to get more, I'd say. So not even, it, it, turned in from, it turned from being a pressure to being something that I want to do for myself and realizing the value of myself, not just being, not seeing it through my parents' um, eyes, per se. Best like advice my dad gave me was just like consider the source and like know who you are. If I was like getting bullied in school or something like that, it's like, well, just consider the source. Like, who are these people? You know who you are. Don't let them tell you who you are. Not uh, directly. My parents taught me do what I want and live my life. Like figure it out as you go. I think life is too short to just kind of like settle for something that you don't thoroughly enjoy. I idolize my parents. I think they, they're amazing. And I think the way that they raised my sister and I and not hover and like not judge and just support is really, really amazing and very rare. My mom taught me a valuable lesson and that was to always look at things from other people's point of view. I remember one time I was like mad at my teacher and I was like, mom, my teacher is a jerk. And she was like, well, did you think about how your teacher might feel? And I was like, mom, <laughs> I'm telling you that I'm right and my teacher is wrong. Why are you taking my teacher's side? And it made me mad at the time, but you know, through enough things like that, I started to you know, think about what other people are thinking about in a given situation, and I think, yeah, that made me a better person. Yeah. My dad's side of the family coming from more of like a country setting, and then my mom's side coming from more of a city with a lot more affluence. Both my parents always wanted me to just treat people, one, how I want to be treated, but also really treating everybody equally in a sense that it's like, just because people come from different classes or are from different backgrounds, doesn't mean you should treat anyone differently than anybody else, you know? Growing up, my parents were always working. I like made lunch and dinner for myself most nights. Even them being away, they're like, family comes first. They will love you no matter what. So it was a very supportive, but distant sort of love and support. I think that was always a hard hitting point for me because it took me so long to realize, oh, they did love me through their actions. And for me, I was like, don't waste time. Tell people they're great. Tell people you love them. Even if you like met them a week ago, but you realize you love them. So my mom, I think she, uh, she taught me to uh, I love as much as you can. What does that mean? Be open and, and, and do oh, everything okay. with love and compassion. How did she best live that? Well, I haven't seen my mom in a, quite a while. Busy with my life, I guess. It's selfish. Um, because she's just the best person I know. And sometimes I, you know, she calls me, I won't pick up. Stuff like that. That's like so just childish and immature. But like, there's a distance between her and I. Sure. Can I challenge you? Sure, yeah, man. I like challenges. <laughs> Can you call her right now and tell her that? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, why not? I can. What's your name? My name or her name? No, her name. Monica. What's your name, by the way? I'm Eric. <laughs> Eric? Yeah. Hello? Thaddeus. Hello? Hey, uh, hey, mom. Yes. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, look, so before you embarrass me with anything, um, I'm doing like this interview situation. Um, not trying to justify anything, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that I from the heart. that I love yeah. you. I love you very much. And um, <laughs> yeah, you see, she's, she's like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing okay. just, just I love you and you're a great mom and I really appreciate you being my mother and I'm very grateful for you being in my life. He he called you the the, the best person he knows. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? What do you want, Kitty? Nothing, that's all. That's, that's that's all I wanted to say. How does that how does that feel, Mom? How does that feel? Well he's the best son. Oh, that's well, that's what all moms say. So that's just a given response. <laughs> I know you've Gosh, been a really good son. You've been very good. You've been a joy to raise. You've been fun. Well, that's good. <laughs> I guess I did the job. You did the job, then you raised me well. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that's that. Thanks for participating. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, any time. Any time. All right. Alrighty. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Wow, that's great, dude. <laughs> good job. Yeah, man. Yeah, we could all probably be calling our moms a little bit more, myself included. Sorry, mom. But guys, there you have it. Those are the greatest lessons our parents taught us: hard work, determination, being kind, thinking of others, being true to ourselves. They taught us how to live and how to love. And for that, we're forever indebted to them. So guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you wanna see more interviews with the fine people of New York, hit that subscribe button. And if this video made you think a little bit more about your parents and your upbringing, leave a comment down below. What was the greatest lesson your parents taught you?